I'm going to be using a lot of Cat5 in my project. Uh, Cat5 is a really handy connection to know how to do. Uh, here's why. A Cat5 cable at like Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy, whatever. Uh, like a 20 foot one is like 16 to 18 dollars. Okay, so it doesn't cost that much to make this stuff. It does cost a little bit for the tools, but once you have the tools down pat, you can make a 100 foot cable, 60 foot cable, 50 foot cable, whatever. Uh, I really appreciate somebody sitting me down and showing me how to do this. So once in a while what I do is grab a student that I know can handle it and I'll say here make a network cord, here's how you do it. And so I want to record this just for prosperity and uh, hopefully somebody else will get the same benefit out of it. So we start out by grabbing Cat5. Okay. Cat5. Now there are variations of Cat5. There's Cat5 and Cat5e. I prefer Cat5e. It has a little bit better wiring in it. Um, the difference between Cat5 and Cat5e, if I, if I remember right, Cat5e is wrapped a few more times so it um, shrugs off interference from like let's say fluorescent lights and stuff like that. But the wires are a little bit higher quality. So this is Cat5 and you're going to see that the wires are pretty flimsy but it's the only piece I have laying around right now. Uh, this, let me kind of zoom in on an area, this is a terminator end. Okay, You can buy a pack of these for about nine bucks for 25 of them. So you're going to look for the eight wire variation. This crimpers Okay, these are high dollar crimpers, but you don't need the high dollar crimpers. I just like using these the best. Um, is there any difference? No. In a pinch, I'll grab whatever it takes to get it done. So, <laughs> uh, high dollar, low dollar, it doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that these are laying in my shop right now, and that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I got cutoffs. Uh, these are a little overkill, but again, these are the ones I have laying around, and these do a really nice job of making a straight line and that's the secret. You'll also need an X-Acto knife. All right. So to start out with, uh, you do this. Grab your X-Acto knife, put your thumb right about here, and just kind of roll it. So you're going to roll it onto the X-Acto knife. Careful not to slip. Don't cut yourself. Don't sue me for showing you how to cut an X-Acto knife. Cut one of these and then you're just going to pull it off, just like that. So just a little bit. Don't push too hard when you do that, or you'll cut into the network cord, and then cut into these ones. These are all twisted, so these are twisted pair wires. Uh, the more the twists, the more data is represented inside these wires. Uh, so you can see like uh, the light blue and light green are heavily twisted, and the light brown is barely ever used. So. We have to straighten each one of these out. So just untwist them and do one of these numbers to it. Just pull on it to straighten it out. Turn to the next one, pull on it, put it to the side, untwist, pull, put to the side. There we go. This is so much fun, right? There we go. One more. Now you do this <laughs> times 150 computers and tell me how good you become at it. Okay, now get a pen. You're going to need it because uh, you need to write this down. This sequence is light orange, orange. Okay, so watch what I do. I put my finger in here and I go like this and start putting these wires in the order I'm going to say. So light orange, orange light green, blue, light blue, green, light brown, brown. So what I have is this kind of peacock feather thing. And now I'm just going to push them all together. I'm, I have pressure still s between these two fingers, lots of it, okay? I'm just going to bring them all together. 
This is really hard to do and make sure that I stay in frame. And then I'm going to pull, 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 make sure they're all straight, keep aligning them, and pretty soon I'm going to have this setup right here. Okay? Now, I don't want to cut this too short. Cutting it too short would make it not go into the connector quite right, and cutting it too long leads to a bad cable later on in life. So I generally go like this, put the width of my finger widthwise, mark it off right there, take your crippers or cutters, cut a nice straight line, and make sure it's absolutely straight. So that's a nice straight line right there. See it? Okay, next, take your terminator end. You want to put it down so the clip is down. Also, light orange is on this side, so you want to slide it right on and let it fall right into it. Okay, now triple check your wires. Just kind of read through here. So light orange, orange, light green, blue, light blue, green, light brown, brown. It checks. Notice it goes in there quite nicely. Notice the end is up against this little pyramid. Well, so hopefully that could... There we go. So see that? That goes into that little pyramid. So when that clamps down, it clamps down the actual blue collar just a little bit. All these wires should be all in a row up at the top. Make sure they're all in there correctly. Okay, once you have that, you carefully take your crimpers, insert it into your crimpers, and squeeze. And I squeeze about twice. I always do this a couple times. There we go. So that's how you terminate a network cable. Okay, you do the same wiring on the same other side, and there, there you go. You now have a, a one-foot cable. That doesn't do me very much good, but there we go. All right, so enjoy the network cord making video. Bye, Jason. All right, now we're going to look at the female end, which is this, and I just started one wire on it. The female end is very handy when it comes down to electronics. I use these all the time to hook miscellaneous power supplies together. Um, I use it for stereo equipment, so it, it, if you can think about it, um, anything could be hooked up via this, making network cable your main connection for your entire house not just for network, but for everything else. Okay, In this case, I just have an example on how to put it on, uh, but in this case also, this would be an extension cable. All right, on the side here, and you can buy these, these are really cheap, they're about $1.20. On the side, you see an A and B. All right, see those A and B? I'm using the A color scheme. So you can see the orange, is connected to the orange. All right, so how do you hook one of these up? First off, make sure that this is about right here. So you would use the same approach to take apart this end. Once you get it apart and straightened out, you can now lay these wires in these little grooves. So there's a little groove right there. Okay, once you get it in the little groove, you can then let me get it in that little groove because there we go. Once you got it in the little groove, you can use this tool that comes with it. This is a Terminator punch down tool. Okay, and you could just go like that. You're forcing it down into that little groove. Just like that. Bam. And then you could just repeat the process over and over so you're going to match your wires from orange, light orange light green, blue, and then on the back, over on the other side, I'm using the B color scheme again, 
So blue, green, and brown, and light brown go on this side. All right, so there we go. This is the female end. Much easier than the other male connector because you don't need any special tools for it. Again, very handy when it comes down to electronics. Um, for instance, you know, I might have something goofy like this thing right here. Okay, it has a whole bunch of wires coming out. Rather than have it connect to a motor, I might have it connect to this. Yeah, you get the picture. Good stuff. Enjoy.